The excitement is building and the countdown has officially begun for the Cape's flagship race meeting of the summer season on the last Saturday in January. More about that shortly. Hello again from your Vaughan Smith. Welcome to this week's edition of Commodator Smith's Comments where we get to chat about everything horse racing related from previews to doing reviews to talking about industry related news and this week there are of course two big stories that has got everybody excited. Firstly, on Wednesday, at a function held in the VNA waterfront, we have the unveiling of the final field as well as the barrier draw for the World Sports Bidding Cape Town Met. I was fortunate to be there. This was the sheet we were given, and this is where we all got to record the live draw as it all unfolded. And it would be remiss of me not to quickly touch on it and tell you where some of the principal contenders are drawn and some of the big names, in fact, most of them are in single digits. And next week, I will, of course, be doing a more in-depth analysis on the entire race meeting. But having a look at the final field that was unveiled and this year for the 2023 renewal, we have a high quality field of 19 runners that will face the starter at the 2000 metre mark. In pole position this year is Golden Duckett and Eric Sands will once again have the services of internationally renowned Christophe Soumillon in the saddle and he'll be hoping that Golden Duckett will follow in the footsteps of his older brother Rainbow Bridge as far as this race is concerned. Right alongside of him in barrier position two we have the dual grade one winning three-year-old fully make it snappy. Yep she takes her place in the lineup and she will have the services of Keegan DeMello on board with just 51 and a half kilograms to shoulder. Last year's runner-up, Jet Dark, is drawn in barrier position four. Right alongside of him, in barrier position five, we have last season's Hollywood Bets Durban July winner, Sparkling Water. And alongside of her, in barrier position six, the defending champion and the people's horse, Comedy Dung. So they are literally drawn right alongside of each other and it's going to be interesting to see how those tactics unfold. The Lomra King's Plate winner, Al Matana, is drawn in 12 while boom three-year-old cousin Casey, who also takes his place in the lineup, is drawn at 14. Last year's third place runner was linebacker. He's got a very wide draw of 16 to contend with, and the widest runner of all at 19 is Pomp and Power. Gonna be interesting to see how he behaves and what tactics he's gonna adopt, whether he's going to the front or whether he's going to settle. Only time will tell. It really is going to be a fascinating contest, the 2023 renewal of the World Sports Betting Cape Town Met Grade 1 to be run over 2,000 metres. And one thing's for sure, there'll be lots of banter in the build-up to the big race. This is the time of the year where there's offers, draws, sweepstakes, panel discussions, all sorts of things will be happening in the week that leads up to the big day here at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. And if you have not yet booked your place or have gotten hold of your tickets, I'd suggest you do so quickly because I do believe the sold-out signs are already up in certain venues and knowing Cape Townians, they're going to leave it for the last minute. So there'll be a flood of people coming out next week trying to get tickets to be part of the action. As we all know, the Met is always bold as one of the biggest social events on the calendar in January. The other big news, of course, is TAB will be offering you the opportunity to bet with the world. Yep, you heard me right. All TAB win, place, exactor, swingers and quinella which is the first two in any order bets from races 4 to 12 will go into Hong Kong's mega world pools. And those pools are big, so it's every reason why you should make sure that you've set aside a nice kitty to get involved on the day. And even bigger news is that the likely pick six pool on the day will be 10 million and the quartet pool on the big race 5 million rand with betting on tab opening on Friday the 27th. So there's lots of opportunity for us all to get involved. I'd suggest you top up your tab for racing online account to have the tote at your fingertips because we all know on big days, those queues can get very long. So you don't want to miss out in having an opportunity to have a flutter. Next week, I will of course also make a point of going through the entire betting menu that will be available on tab for racing. As you know, I very seldom tip horses outright unless of course, 
I have uh, labeled one as my best bet on the card. This is more an opportunity for me to share with you which horses I will be keeping a watchful eye on and the reasons why as we head into the weekend's racing action. Now this coming Saturday here at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth, the first of eight races on the card gets underway at 12.30. The feature race on the card is the Grade 3 Politician Stakes of 1800 metres, the official Derby Trial. Now the Derby itself is run on the last Saturday in Feb and that is when the curtain comes down and it also marks the official end of the summer season here in Cape Town. That is another feature race day you need to diarise now already because there will be multiple feature races on the card and Cape Racing will once again host the annual Seafood Festival that many look forward to and make a point of attending. But getting back to race seven, the grade three politician stakes of 1800 meters, where horses are weighted according to how they're rated plus penalties. So it makes for a very interesting contest. And in cases like that, the first thing I normally do when I get hold of the computer form is to look at who's the highest rated and who's best treated by the conditions of the race. And to me, the horse that fits that bull is number 11 at my command. Now, if you look at his form line, you'll see he's a model of consistency. He was third in grade one company last time out in the Hollywood Bets Cape Guineas behind Charles Dickens. And the manner in which he finishes off his races certainly suggests that he will enjoy the step up in trip. Yes, he is drawn at 11, but he normally does come from off the pace. He will be doing his best work like he has a devastating turn of foot. And I do believe that the conditions of this race is in his favor for him to end up in the winner's enclosure. He's certainly a horse that I'm going to be keeping a watchful eye on with the derby in mind a month later. I think his biggest dangers are the Snaith Dewar, 9 Inamorari and 10 Rockpool. Both come into the race with back-to-back -back wins to their credit. And if one looks at the jockey arrangements in this race, then it certainly suggests that 10 Rockpool is the stable elect. Now, I, sir, I can tell you, on the strength of his last win, he certainly will enjoy the step up in trip. He was most impressive with the manner in which he won his last start. He's certainly a horse that appears to still be on the up. And with 54 kilograms on his back and Richard Free on board, I think he rates the biggest danger to number 11 at my command. If you are looking for a roughie, then maybe look at number one, Blackberry Malt. Yes, he stayed on for third over 1600 meters. There is question marks whether he'll see out the 1800 meter trip, but he does jump from pole position and Samanga Kamala retains the ride. So he could be one to run into the back end of trifectas and quartets and make it pay. The politician stakes is always a good pointer to the derby and I'm sure there'll be one or two that we'll be able to make a note of after Saturday's performances and keep them in mind for the end of February. Short, sharp and to the point. That is where I'm going to leave this week's edition of Commentator Smith's Comments. Next week, I'll do an in-depth look at the Cape Town MEP card where we can look forward to 12 races on the day. There's big whirlpools that we'll all be able to bet into, so there'll be lots to talk about. Trust you will have an enjoyable and profitable weekend. Pull that kitty for next week. I'm Ravon Smith, and I look forward to seeing you at the races.